Welcome to the second half of Kia Vancouver Soccer Talk on AM650. My name's Tyler Green. Alongside me is Simon Fudge. Whitecaps losers today, 2-1 against the Colorado Rapids. We'll hear from uh, some of the more uh, principals, including Drew Moore, Jada Merritt, Andy O'Brien, Darren Maddox, Kenny Miller. All that coming up uh, in the second half here. Uh, we'll debate a few issues from the match. Key questions. We'll also hear what's happening with the BC Soccer Bulletin. And we'll also dive into the injury report with expert physios David Sandals in just a second. But first, let's take a look at the scores from Spain. Here's Simon Fudge. One game last night in Spain, Almeria 1, Osasuna 2. The big three played today in Spain. Atletico Madrid won 1-0 over Villarreal. Barcelona beat Real Betis 3-1. It was Real Sociedad 0, Real Madrid 4. And Rayo Vallecano beat Celta Vigo by three goals to nil in the other match on Saturday. Thanks, Simon. Time now for the injury report brought to you by Expert Physio in Burnaby. Online at expertphysio.ca. Joining us on the program as he does uh, every week is Expert Physio's David Sandals. Uh, David, welcome back to the show. Tough result for the uh, Whitecaps earlier tonight. I know you were at the match. Yeah, it was a, was a little bit of a disappointing way to lose the streak, uh, Tyler. Now let's uh, start, though, with, with the Whitecaps and a, a midfielder that they could definitely use again. That's uh, Medi Bellucci and uh, his recovery from bilateral ACL repairs. Uh, he's back on the pitch. He started training again. And, uh, you know, what can you tell me about that injury? And, and also, you think that the, the Whitecaps physio staff, now obviously talent was one of the reasons why they picked him up in that waiver draft, but... Uh, you think maybe the, the, the fact that the, the physio staff are some of the best in the business here with the Whitecaps, that that could be a reason why they brought him in? Yeah, I think um, it may seem a, been a little hopeful bringing in a player who's just had two serious knee injuries, um, 30 years old. But I think part of the reason may have been the excellent rehab team that the Whitecaps have. I mean, they have some physiotherapists there that uh, are certainly innovative in the, in the way that they'll, uh, they'll work with the players. And if anyone can get him back to full fitness, with the confidence to play, it is it is it is that group. Down the stretch, uh, I think you know uh, in a couple of months from now, that some midfield backup might be very useful to the Whitecaps. So um, a couple of months of uh, of actually getting some uh, playing time, uh, uh, perhaps a little bit here and there, he, he could be a useful player. He was he was playing. He did very well after his initial uh, first ACL injury. He played about five six games for the uh, for San Jose and. Uh, and I believe he was starting for them and looking really good. So, so I think they've got a good player, and just a question of uh, just how well they can bring him back. But I think they'll do a good job, and and uh, I think he could be very useful to us down the road. Now, meanwhile, over in England, a uh, big blow for uh, Christian Benteke and uh, specifically Belgium because he's now ruled out of the World Cup, and and it's kind of getting into that time where some of these players are. Uh, you know, they get injured now and they're going to miss that World Cup or it's going to be a race uh, to get back to the World Cup. But uh, Christian Benteke is out, uh, they say, about six months after he tore uh, his Achilles. What type of rehab and repair is this going to be, uh, is this going to involve for him? And, and what what options does he have? Because he does have some options of uh, some different surgeries as well. Well, well, there's a lot of debate right now uh, as to whether this should be a, surgical or non-surgical repair. Um, however, that might be a bit of a debate for you and I um, got that injury. With a, with a young athlete uh, that is definitely needs a surgical repair, the, uh, the um, recovery is much shorter, uh, probably half as long, and uh, if they're not operated on, they have a higher likelihood of re-rupturing. So I don't think there's a question with Christian Benteke. He'll have had his surgery uh, immediately, and uh, with luck he'll be back uh, full action six months. Uh, that, that most famous of Achilles, uh, belonging to David Beckham, uh, put him out of the World Cup. But uh, he was back playing for LA uh, just a few days short of six months post uh, post injury. Um, so, and he was 34. It's it's a much more common injury uh, over 30, over 40 than it is for a youngster like Benteke, 24 years old. But uh, I'm sure we'll see him back uh, 100% uh, in about six months from now. Um, I'm I hope he likes water because. Uh, as soon as they can get him going, he'll have him running in the water, I'm sure. Uh, well, David, uh, thanks for uh, taking the time out this evening for uh, joining us here on the Expert Physio Injury Report. And uh, next week, uh, we'll talk again about some of the latest injuries happening around the world of soccer. Yeah, thanks a lot, Tyler. Good night. Thanks again. David Sandals.
from Expert Physio, physiotherapist at Expert Physio, expertphysio.ca. If you care about your health, why not work with the experts? Convenient clinics in Burnaby Heights and at Eight Rinks. For more information on the services they provide, visit expertphysio.ca. One of the cool things that they do over at Expert Physio, and I think I'm going to have to uh, go in and check in with them because I, I feel a little uh, uh, niggles here and there are whether or not you're in balance, whether uh, the left side, uh, say, for example, your left leg is stronger than your right leg, and uh, could there be an imbalance there? And that could lead to some injuries. So they do those tests and figure out if you need to uh, work on some things. You can do all of that at expertphysio.ca. Tonight's poll question brought to you by anotherfinecut.com. What MLS team does Vancouver hate very much? And we've got a lot of different answers. Uh, Michael Egger on uh, Facebook, uh, as you can uh, join us there and, and chat and, and give us your comments. The impact for gifting the Canadian Championship to TFC a couple of years ago. Um, we have uh, Patrick uh, Hyde, who says Toronto, Seattle, Montreal, LA Galaxy, Portland, Salt Lake, pretty much every team that you could possibly imagine. Um, Christina, uh, our, our executive producer, uh, posted the comment that if it would be any team, it might be Caratero. They'd probably win in a landslide. Um, but uh, a lot of different answers. Uh, Kelly Leahy, Sounders, close runner-up is TFC. Vancouver, generally hating anything Toronto. Uh, Jorge Mendoza, he's saying it, it's got to be Caratero FC. But since it's MOS, he would say the Sounders. But you can weigh in on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash soccer talk van, or you can tweet us your thoughts with the hashtag barber pole at soccer talk 650. On the weekend, Ski of Vancouver is giving away Vancouver match tickets with your purchase, plus you're entered. Win a pair of season tickets, skiavancouver.com, in store 396 Southwest Marine Drive at Yukon. Then you have the freedom to do whatever you'd like, whenever you want. Like me, I'm set to take a little bit of a road trip tomorrow on Sunday. Destination unknown, possibly Whistler. I've got my new Kia Sorento. Can load up the back with all the snowboard gear, head up to Whistler, enjoy the mountain. And everything it has to offer, including a pulled pork sandwich at one of my favorite places, the GLC. I'm coming for you. Definitely a good spot. But after the break, we're going to get uh, deeper into this Whitecaps loss against the Colorado Rapids. Uh, we're going to hear a, a few more comments from some of the principals, including uh, more from Andy O'Brien, uh, talking more than just kick to the nuts as well as uh, Darren Maddox. He's finally scored, so we get the answer as to whether or not it was actually annoying hearing that question for the first four weeks of the season, asking him, are you feeling the pressure you haven't scored yet? Plus, I'll tell you what I think is the team that Vancouver hates very much. That's coming up next with the manager's rant right here on Kia Vancouver Soccer Talk on AM650.